Hello everyone, just uh, here wrapping up my first week of creativity and innovation uh, with Dr. Paul. Um, it's been a pretty good week. My initial thoughts on the class are it's pretty pretty cool class, a lot of information. I do enjoy how there's uh, different bits of tidbits of information as opposed to one or two big reading assignments from one context. kind of gives you a little bit of variety, a little bit of different things to uh, think about. Um, some of the things I've learned this week, um, coming from the reading, like fears, we read about fears of entrepreneur. Um, one of the key elements in there I found was letting people down. I think that's kind of going to be one of the biggest fears I'm going to have problems with, um, just cause I kind of have the mantra, everybody eats, kind of want to bring the team with me, you know, um, watched a cool little in animated video, innovation V5. That was a really, really neat little animation video. Um, it brought something up that I really liked uh, as innovators and developers. This was something I never really thought about as two different entities, um, but I think it's actually in my personal life what has um, been kind of mounted to the success of the, my bicycle shop business that I have. Uh, I'm more of an innovator. My partners I work with are great developers, so that's kind of something I didn't know, but now I see a lot better and I can apply. Um, watched a couple of videos from Mark Echo. Mark Echo is pretty sweet, pretty awesome dude. Um, actually one of my role models as a kid. Started a clothing company when I was 23 or so. Um, I, cause I grew up doing graffiti and I grew up with Mark Echo. So everyone was living the dream. <laughs> um, the reading assignment this week was definitely, uh, a really good read. Um, it was kind of almost like a scare tactic. I feel like they're uh, giving you a bunch of reasons not to be an entrepreneur. Um, and so it's like, if you survive the first chapter, you should probably keep going and pursuing entrepreneurship. It's pretty interesting. Um, the discussion was based around a really cool little slideshow. I like the slideshow um, a lot. I, I found it pretty inspiring. A lot of those character traits on there, I feel like I could relate to. Um, definitely made me feel a lot better after the reading, <laughs> for sure. Um, a lot of motivation in those character traits. I had a lot harder time finding one that I um, didn't really relate to, so or was difficult for me. Um, the writing assignment this week, What's Your Why? That was really fun. It's really good to have those things on paper. I know a lot of the times we just tell people that um, our why is a quick answer that we just kind of thought up. Um, we're kind of put on the spot when people ask us that, so it was nice to take back and actually put some deep thought into it. and. Have it written down so if I ever lose inspiration, I have it down on there. Um, it's probably something I'll, I'll do. I'll keep it close by and going further through life. I'll pull it up every time I'm feeling down and, and use it as a tool. So, yeah, that was basically my, my week in a nutshell. So, I'm um, looking forward to next week. And thank you, everybody, for watching.